English file print immediate level and, and uh, this is the way how I practice English how I learn English without a teacher I have this wonderful book I really like it it is a student's book and this is the first lesson 1a and uh, we have here some questions what do you do let's answer and uh, right now I am a housewife and uh, my main focus on learning English and I am trying to do my best to improve my knowledge in this field. I'm at university. No, actually I'm not at university at the moment. Okay, so what do we have here? Common verb phrases, vocabulary and speaking. Let's move on. Have a conversation with your partner. Ask and answer the questions in the questionnaire. After you have answered a question, return it, return it to your partner. Returning a question, what does it mean? When you're having a conversation, you often return questions. That is, ask somebody the same question that they asked you. You can do this by saying and you or what about you, repeating the question by stressing you. For example, where are you from? I'm from Rome. Where are you from? Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. So we have 18 questions and we have gaps here. Let's fill them up. No, not not fill them up, fill them in. Yeah, fill them in. Where are you from? Where were you born? Uh, where do you live? Do you live in a house or a flat? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any pets? What do you do? What time do you get up during the week? Where do you usually have lunch? What time do you usually go to bed? Where did you learn English before? Can you speak any other languages? Which? What kind of music do you listen to? What TV programs or series do you watch? Uh, do you do any sport or exercise? What? What kind of books or magazines do you read? How often do you go to the cinema? What did you do last weekend? Hmm. Okay, so let's start from the first one. Where are you from? I'm from Moldova. Where were you born? I was born in Moldova in a small city uh, called Binderi. Uh, where do you live? Right now I live in Belarus, in Minsk. Do you live in a house or a flat? I live in a flat. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes, I have one brother. Do you have any pets? Oh, luckily for me, fortunately, uh, right now I do not have any pets. But before this time I had uh, a cat. And uh, for me that was uh, a complete disaster. That was a complete disaster because... This cat just ruined all my flat. Oh, it's like a, it's like a rhyme. This cat ruined uh, all my flat and um, actually I had a lot of problems uh, with that, that cat because he wasn't... Um, um, he wasn't tender, he was uh, really aggressive and uh, he... Um, bite and uh, bite beat beaten he beat he beat a lot and uh, he scratched me and uh, i didn't like it i didn't like his behavior and uh, luckily for us uh, we have found a really good girl and uh, she took this cat and uh, i know that right now both of them both of them are very happy about everything and uh, they like uh, each other and um, i am happy as well 
Ah, uh, what do you do? As I said before, right now I am a housewife and uh, I want to improve my English, my English knowledge. That's why I started this course because I want uh, to practice my speaking uh, skills, my listening skills, uh, practice English because um, I do not have anyone who can um, uh, practice English with me. And um, I decided to do it myself uh, without any teachers and um, I will show you what uh, I will have uh, at the end of this course, how I will be improved by everything that I am doing. Uh, what time do you get up during the week? I usually get up at 7 uh, a.m. in the morning. At 7 a.m. in the morning. Where do you usually have lunch? I usually have lunch at home and uh, I like to cook it myself. What time do you usually go to bed? Um, it depends. Sometimes I can go to bed really late if I have some things to do. And um, sometimes I can go to bed really early uh, if I feel tired, if I feel that uh, I need extra rest. Uh, where did you learn English before? Uh, mostly um, I learn English myself without teachers and um, I like this way of learning English. I like I really like it and um, I feel that I can improve, that uh, I can make notable gains about this um, subject and uh, everything is perfect. The only thing um, which is difficult for me um, is to find uh, free time for it. Can you speak any other languages? Um, my mother language, my mother language is Russian and uh, right now I'm learning English. What kind of music do you listen to? I cannot call myself um, a really, really um, person who likes music so much. Sometimes I feel that I want to listen to some classics. Sometimes I feel that I want to listen to some pop music. I don't know different really different kinds of music what tv programs or tv series do you watch actually none i do not have tv and uh, i do not want to waste my time on tv programs and series i don't like it mm, but sometimes i like to watch uh, english movies mm, uh, especially in english without subtitles i want to practice my uh, listening skills and to get some new information about uh, new phrases, new words, or perhaps I will get some new grammar phrases that uh, I will be very interested in. Do you do any sport or exercise? What? I am a big fan of sport and I really like to lead an active life. And uh, I do yoga on a daily, not on a daily basis, but quite often and regularly. But uh, I also like uh, to do some um, exercises to make my uh, blood running through my veins and to get some positive emotions, some energy, because after doing sport, I always feel um, like... Um, I don't know that I have a lot of energy and uh, I can do practically and I can do almost everything. I don't know how to describe this feeling, but uh, that is actually great. What kind of books or magazines do you read? Different books, but uh, I like reading books in the original, especially English and uh, so as usual I just want to practice my English skills I want to get some new phrases some knowledge some interesting words collocations and uh, that is why I prefer reading books uh, in the original mm, and the last 
book that I read was um, Alchemist. Alchemist, yeah. Uh, that was really interesting book, and uh, this book made a great impression on me, and uh, I liked it a lot. And uh, I also remember that I have right now uh, a diary full of different sentences, collocations, phrases. Mm, this way of learning English is amazing. How often do you go to the cinema? Oh my god! Uh, actually, right now I do not remember when was the last time I went to the cinema. I'm not a fan of such places because uh, they are too crowded, too busy and the sound of a movie uh, is very loud for me and uh, after visiting the cinema I always, I always have a headache and um, so why should I go there if I have uh, the internet, if I have a bunch of different uh, films in the internet and I can watch them. What did you do last weekend? Mm, nothing special, just um, walking, hanging out uh, with my family, with my daughter, with my husband, uh, do some stuff that, uh, that is important for me, for my family, something like that. Grammar. Okay. What order in questions? Mm -hmm. Look at the highlighted phrases in questions uh, 1 till 6. Tick the three correct questions. Write the incorrect questions. Mm -hmm. Can you play a musical instrument? Um, no, I can't. I do not like music um, so much. So I never... I have never been interested in music. Uh, where did your father? Oh, where does your father work? Where does your father work? Mm, my father was an engineer. Uh, were you at this school last year? Oh, this is actually correct. Were you at this school last year? Is there a supermarket near there? Yeah. That is actually correct as well. Is there a supermarket near here? Yeah, we have a bunch of different supermarkets near here. Um, have you had... Mm -hmm. Have you cereal for breakfast? That sentence isn't correct. Do you have... Do you have a uh, cereal for breakfast? No, actually, uh, I don't. I have uh, some sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Where went you for your last holiday? Where did you go for your last holiday? Uh, oh, actually, my family and I went to a very beautiful place in Belarus. And uh, the city is called uh, Braslov. And there are so many beautiful lakes. And the, the view was just majestic, terrible, uh, terrific. Not terrible, but terrific. And uh, I liked this place a lot. And the weather was great. And uh, we had a lot of fun. And uh, my daughter also enjoyed it a lot. So everything was actually great. Okay, now we are suggested to moving to page 126, Grammar Bank. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. So, what order in questions? Questions with be and can. Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? Is there a bank near here? Can I sit here? What was that noise? Where were you born? We make questions with the verb be and can by inverting the verb and the subject. She is a teacher. Is she a teacher? He can drive. Can he drive? Mm -hmm. That is understood. 
uh, questions with the do, does, did in present simple and past simple. We have question what, uh, auxiliary, subject, infinitive. Do you live with your parents? Did you have a holiday last year? Where does your sister work? When did you start studying English? What did they talk about? Okay. You can use A, S, I, auxiliary, subject, infinitive. O, Q, U, A, S, I, question what, auxiliary, subject, infinitive. To remember what order in questions. If there's a preposition, we often put it at the end of questions. For example, who do you live with? Who do you live with? Okay, great. Now let's practice. We have two exercises. Put the word or phrase in the correct place in the question. Where are you from? Where can we park? How old are you? Does the class finish at 8? Uh, where do your friends live? Why didn't you answer my email? Do you often go to the cinema? Uh, what does this word mean? What time did your friends arrive? Who are you talking to? Where were you last night? Mm -hmm. Exercise B. Put the words in the correct order to make questions. Where do you live? Okay, the first one. Do you have a car? Where was your brother born? How often... How often does he phone you? What time uh, does their flight arrive? Um, is your girlfriend from Brazil? How many languages can you speak? Um, how was the party? Where did you go last summer? Is there a doctor here? Is there a doctor here? Mm -hmm. uh, did you did you come to school by bus? Did you come to school by bus? Mm -hmm. Great, that wasn't so difficult. I do not remember the page. Perhaps it is not six, but seven. Great. Now we have exercise two, part C. Look at the two gro groups of questions. What are the missing words in the second questions? Present. Do you drink a lot of tea or coffee? How many cups do you drink a day? Mm -hmm. Do you go to a gym? What gym do you go? Do you sleep well? How many hours do you sleep? Do you play games on your phone? What games do you play on your phone? Do you like watching sport on TV? What sports do you watch? Great. And about past. Did you go to bed? Did you go to bed late last night? What time did you go to bed? Did you cook lunch or dinner yesterday? What did you cook for lunch or dinner yesterday? Uh, did you go for a walk at the weekend? Where did you go for a walk at the weekend? Did you see a good film last week? What film did you see last week? Did you buy any clothes last month? Uh, what clothes did you buy last month? Great! Stand up and ask different students the first question until somebody says yes. Then ask the second question. Continue with the other questions asking different students. Ok, let's just skip it. Pronunciation, the alphabet. With a partner, say the groups of letters. Uh, then listen and check. 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uh, H, uh, I, uh, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, uh, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. If I'm not mistaken, uh, they are sound like that. The alphabet. The letters of the alphabet are pronounced with different vowel sounds. S. S, like egg. But C, C, like tree. Look at the sound pictures. What are the words and vowels? And vowel sounds. Uh, listen and write the words. Okay, train. A, H, J. So E goes here. G goes here. Column, num column number two. Uh, J is done for us. K goes uh, here. Column number one. M, M, uh, M. M, 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 uh, goes here, column number three, O, number five, R, number seven, Q, uh, six, X, three, and Y, four. This is it. Uh -huh. Listen and check, practicing the letters in each column. Communication alphabet quiz. Let us not do it right now, listening and speaking. Listen to extracts from six conversations. Write the letters and numbers you hear. First name. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to skip it. Now listen to the conversation, skip it, interview another student and complete the form. Oh, uh, I just want to make questions to get this information. So I need to get first name and I will ask, what is your first name? Uh, what is your surname? Where do you live? Uh, where do you live? What address do you live? Uh, what is your postcode? What is your phone number? Do you have an email? Do you have an email? What address does it have? What address does it have? Mm -hmm. Great! So thank you for being with me today and tomorrow we will have the second lesson. 1B. The perfect date. See you soon. Bye-bye.